now it's time for In the Papers. In the Papers today, we're going to start off with the New York Times uh, with this lead story over here. Uh, I guess uh, crime won't pay, but uh, fighting it sure does cost a lot. Uh, this story right here, a court reached on sweeping bill to battle crime. Uh, Congress uh, has agreed on a $30 billion plus crime bill that's going to add uh, 100,000 more police officers, uh, ban the manufacture and sale of uh, some 19 assault weapons. The quote here, um, the, the article says that President Clinton hailed the bill as the toughest, largest, smartest federal attack on crime in the history of our country. But critics, including some law enforcement officials, called it a social welfare boondoggle. And in the words of Representative Henry Hyde, Republican of Illinois, the whole Emerald City of Oz. Still, it is seen as a uh, major victory for the president. One who did not sing the praises of the crime bill was our own Al D'Amato, although he did sing about it. And let's hear how it sounded. President Clinton had a bill, E-I-E-I-O, and in that bill was lots of pork. E-I-E-I-O, new pork here, old pork there, here pork, there pork, everywhere pork, pork. The president's bill costs much too much, and it must be chopped. Enough. <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but I would vote for a bill banning senators from singing. Those guys are assault weapons onto themselves. The artist's nephew named, uh, is it Jamie Warhola, 39, and his girlfriend uh, brought together uh, some psychics to create a seance in an old Warhol hangout, a restaurant on the Upper East Side called Serendipity. And they tried to bring back his spirit. And they said they were successful. And um, I'm just going to read this for you. They say, uh, the group learned that Warhol wants to help souls on the other side and ones that are in transition getting over to the other side. They say the spirit also wanted to know what his nephew had done with several leather coats that Warhol had given him. Then they say he's not earthbound but wants to guide other people. He's not reincarnated. His soul is growing and developing. And uh, I would only say it's kind of too bad they didn't ask Warhol to find out what Elvis Presley thought about the marriage of his daughter to Michael Jackson. Then again, uh, Elvis Presley may not really be dead. Question for you question of the day. You can zoom in on the picture, Kevin. Who is that dark-haired woman putting a lip lock on that uh, turns out to be a lesbian model? Can you guess? Well, I'll give you a hint. It is a president's daughter. And no, it is not Chelsea Clinton. It is Patty Davis, daughter of Ronald and Nancy Reagan. There's the other picture of her. Don't you just wonder what Ron and Nancy are thinking after seeing that shot? New York Times, uh, the front page debate is begun on Mitchell plan for health care. That's uh, over here. It's not the words that I wanted to focus in on, though. It's the pictures. Uh, look at these two guys who are supposedly debating <laughs> from the Senate. Urge Mitchell, identified as Eater, and then below that, Bert Dole. And uh, <laughs> obviously what's going on here is these were pictures taken off the TV screen. But nowhere is it identified that it comes from the TV screen. So all, as far as we know, or as far as New York Times readers know, the two guys uh, representing us in the Senate are Urge Mitchell and Bert Dole. How about that? And finally, in the papers, Diet Machine almost killed Brando. What are we looking at here? <laughs> but check out this picture. Marlon Brando, can you recognize him? I've never seen him quite that heavy, though we know he loves food. He's apparently 300 pounds there. This is a, a story about Brando with this obsession of um, losing weight and weight loss gimmicks. And in this case, can you zoom in there on that uh, highlighted portion? He bought a machine that required him to up hang upside down. And it reports he was hanging head down. And because of his weight, the blubber started to roll forward, almost choking him. Boy, that's a comforting thought. He was co coughing and muttering, unable to speak. Um, they immediately lowered him to the floor. So. That's some uh, savory thoughts to ponder as we roll out of in the papers this morning. For the New York Post this morning, well, who do they put on their front page? A great big picture, and it is fairly big, of Monica Seles. Um, she looks like she put on a little weight, according to this uh, the caption, I believe, in the post here. She gained some 28 pounds since she left tennis. So I guess you won't see her on the court all that soon. And uh, 
inside, it's an interesting story about Monica. Um, a friend of hers says that uh, she's now 20 years old. She had piled on the extra weight by binging on fatty food. She's reportedly rather depressed about not playing tennis. And ironically enough, she was in Monte Carlo Sunday attending the, get this, the Weight Watchers Celebrity Sports Festival. <laughs> Boy, that's appropriate. And then story. Remember Jerry Falwell, the, the uh, reverend Jerry Falwell? Well, it's an interesting story. He has, a, he has a show, a gospel program, that was pulled off the air uh, in Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, um, and apparently viewers complained that his uh, sexually explicit discussion of allegations against President Clinton crossed the line from religion to politics. And then down below, you read, uh, complaints had mounted in recent weeks, and the station acted, uh, pulling him off the air, after a Jacksonville mother, Kathy Corby, told the station that Mr. Falwell's show had prompted her nine-year-old son to ask what oral sex was. So maybe uh, he should follow up his gospel hour with a sex ed uh, hour, explaining what he's talking about there. There's a movement afoot, or shall we say, a movement abreast um, about women who want to ride the subways, whoops, over here, topless. Can you bear it? It says, gal's OK to ride topless in subways. And um, I'm just going to read this to you. Uh, earlier, Transit Police Chief Michael O'Connor had threatened to arrest any female strap hangers going shirtless, but now he's changed the policy and say, says only if they create a disorderly uh, disturbance. But Rosita Libre uh, de Marulanda, whose group TT Liberation has spent the summer parading around the subways topless, hailed the new rule as a victory for women's rights. And she reports the air conditioner feels wonderful on the upper torso. I highly recommend it. It'd be a little cool for me. Anyway, that's just a quick look at what's in the papers this morning. On question number five, uh, do you favor the Yankees moving to a new stadium? Uh, again, there are interesting uh, results. 19% uh, say, uh, yeah, they would move. Uh, to 37% say uh, they're opposed to the idea and 43% say, being the New Yorkers that they are, say, eh, we don't care. And finally, in uh, the Daily News, well, here we go again. Another uh, New York One uh, reporter is in a scuffle with uh, a public figure. This time, it is our own Adele Samarco, uh, went head to head with Police Commissioner uh, William Bratton. And the story is right here. Bratton uh, fails stress test. and. Um, I'll just uh, read that little part that's highlighted there. After a ceremony at police headquarters, Samarco asked Bratton if the booklet the police published on terrorism, which has been distributed to Jewish organizations, was just for the Jewish community. All right, we are going to play for you Commissioner Bratton's response to that question. Hit it, Joe. Is it only for okay. the Jewish community? Not at all. What are you, crazy? Well, the new news day is no, that's a the stupid court. question. Yeah. Just for the Jewish community. Well, that's what the, uh, news day I don't care what Newsday said. What do, you, what do you think we're here just to serve the Jewish community? It's a foolish question. I'm crying out loud. Well, uh, to that, interestingly, um, on the bottom of uh, this little item in the Daily News, this quote from one of the police officers said, one of the police officers, uh, after that little exchange, rolled his eyes and said, he's having a stressful day. So I guess. To uh, Commissioner Bratton, we send a chill pill. <laughs> That's it for In the Papers. We'll be back.